So I want to talk to you about life. It's just too difficult to be alive right now, isn't it? To try to function, there are all these, these people that you have to deal with. For instance, <laughs> the other day, uh, <laughs> I went to the supermarket to um, try to buy a can of tuna, and there was this person standing right in front of where I needed to reach out and get the can of tuna. And, uh, you know, I waited a while, you know, just, uh, just to see if they'd move. They didn't. <laughs> and they were, they were wanting to buy tuna too, but they were taking a really long time. And I mean, they were reading every single can as if it were a fucking book. <laughs> a pretty boring book, if you ask me, but <laughs> nobody has. So, yeah, so I waited a really long time. And, you know, I thought about asking them to move, but then I thought, what would be the point in that? They'd probably say something like, I'll move when I'm ready, you nagging bitch! And then, what would I have done at that point? Huh? What would I have done at that point? So then, <laughs> I started crying, you know, out of frustration. <laughs> Quietly, so as to not disturb anyone. And even though I was softly sobbing, this stupid person didn't grasp that I needed to get by them. And so, <laughs> I took my fist, and I landed it so hard on his head, and I screamed, would you kindly move, asshole? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he fell to the floor and he looked completely startled and some child started crying and I was still crying at this point. And uh, I couldn't even imagine making use of the tuna now anyway, so I told that child to stop fucking crying because he's drawing way too much attention to me. And I got out of that supermarket so fast and I said, oh, I need to call Nuba right now because I need to, oh, I need to go to the Tate Modern or something because I need to be around culture right now and not tuna. 